Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the five different levels of storage tech. First, we have the impulse style hopper item filter. The way this works is it detects this hopper and then powers this redstone repeater which powers this block which then inverts this redstone torch which then unlocks this hopper allowing items to come through. These composters on top are to make it so these hoppers don't look for items above them, which greatly helps with lag. The way you set up this item filter is you take four filter items that are never going to come into this system, and then 41 items that you want to filter, you put that in the first slot. This will then set off the system as you can see because I put in above 41, but once there's 41 it stops. There will always be a cash item in here, because that's how Hopper Lock works. An example of this system is shown here. You can see items are getting taken out of this and moved to the other. Moving on to level 2, or I guess 1.5, is this system over here. This uses the same filter, the single Hopper Speed Item Filter but with a different means of item distribution. Back at level 1 we had this single hopper line, but here we have an ice water stream with an auto dropper. Now this auto dropper works by detecting if there is anything inside this dropper, setting off this observer clock, but it doesn't really work fully on the speed. Watch this. You can see what happens is, compared to detect this dropper filling up with an item, powering this observer clock, but then that locks this hopper, so then there's nothing in here, so that it does this motion. Of course, these aren't filtered, right? they're not going to get picked up by these hoppers. Let's run a test, and see what happens. You can see that all these items are getting picked up. What happens when you put in a ton of items, this is only two times hopper speed, it can only put in things every four games. Now let's say I drop all the rest of these items into this water stream. You can see that some items end up at the end. This is one failure of this system. Hoppers can only pick up items every 8 game ticks. And if this dropper is outputting items every 4 game ticks, then and items will end up at the end. Moving on to level 3, we have the same auto dropper system, but with a slight modification. The way this works is it powers, does the same thing except the items are going into the dropper from the side. So then there's no hopper lock. This is still single hopper speed because items can only be tracked from the chest every 8 game ticks. Now you can see here, I've used honey blocks instead of chests and iron bars. Honey blocks are just like chests where they're not a full block, so when an item entity hits them, it will travel along the edge of this ice but also the edge of these hoppers. Again, we're using the same item filter but with a slight twist. Down here at the bottom, we have a shulker loader. This is an adaptation of Samus the Sage's shulker loader, but fixed for 1.13. The way this shulker loader works is you have to originally place boxes on top of these dispensers. These dispensers will get filled up with empty shulker boxes from this put over here. This comparator detects the how many items are inside these shulker boxes, but it will only up power this block when this is fully filled, which then powers this redstone dust fully to 15, which then this observer detects, which then as this observer detects, which then powers this dropper, and since this dropper is conductive, that's why you can't just have a hopper here, it'll also power this redstone torch which will then set up this system, which breaks the box and places a new one. A test run of this is going to have partially full boxes to speed up 
the example. You can see items are getting shot out and picked up by the respective filters. You can see here that this choker box will be filled and then immediately set up the system. Now this end bit here is personally for prep because the choker boxes come out of this hopper right here and you can't just run a system like this because this block is powered from this redstone block. Moving on to level 4, we start to get into more complex storage tech things. Like this storage slice by cubic meter and slightly adapted by me. It uses a double speed accessible shoulder box loader and and also box display for access to items every single time they're getting loaded. It uses an unstackable sorter, also designed by Cubic Meter, that allows you to have a single filter item. This is monumental because now we're able to distribute the items much faster. Now this unstackable sorter works by having a stacked unstackable in the second slot. Now, if you're on a server, a single player world where you have carpets rule, stacked shulker boxes is true, then you can just do that. But there's also a fully vanilla way. The way this works is by combining two curse books in a grindstone. You have to shift with these stacked unstackables everywhere, or otherwise they will just unstack. Now here, we have a different auto dropper that works fully double hopper speed. Here is an example of this storage system. The auto dropper sends out the items, they get picked up by their respective slices, setting off their clocks, which then, in turn, start loading up the boxes. You can see a flaw in this design. This unstackable sorter is too close to this system here as it breaks this sorter by removing the last filter item. The way this slice works is this compared to detects that there's items inside this drop. Then it powers this rail observer clock which then powers this dropper system which then fills the boxes. If this box were to fill up completely, items would begin to start filling up these droppers. Once a single item fills into this dropper here, it'll set off this system which then zero ticks this composter into this box, allowing it to be picked up by this hopper. A demonstration here. You can see it zero tick that filter box and it ends up down here. Now down here we have four double decks of bulk storage along with binaries zero tick box display. Zero takes this composter into it, allowing it to be picked up, the empty shulker box be picked up, and sent to the end here. This storage system is great for a decent sized server. This is a big sorting system, and it requires a lot of work to build, but it's very worth it. Moving on to level 5, we have some of the interesting things the storage tech community has discovered and invented. This is Rapscallion's shulker box sorter. The way it works is it sends shulker boxes to here. One item gets taken out of them and then they're broken. That shulker box is sent along this dropper line. The item is sent along this dropper line. Once the item falls into its respective sorter, it sets off the system, you reuniting that shulker box with its item and moving it down to this best here. see this thing in motion. You see? It moves the shoulder box and immediately breaks them once they're filled up with the 
This allows for much faster sorting because you don't have to unload each box every time. Now this only works if the box is of completely one item. Moving on, we have this unsortable stacker array by data. These are each individual unstackable sorters for these different things. Potions, flint and steel, shears, boats, buckets, minecarts, except not TNT minecarts. Because if you have a bucket of axolotl, the axolotl gets loose, then if it collides with the TNT minecart, bad things will happen. This is also an armor sword. Let's say I take a flint and steel, a bucket of water, and, I don't know, some armor. I send it in this input here. Here, sort of this active. You can see each flint and steel that gets sorted uses one durability. And all our armor ended up over here. Lastly, we have a refill station or just a box display with item frames. This is a lot like the zero tick box display, and yet but yet it doesn't zero tick the anything into the boxes. If you were to have the system all tiled, boxes would end up in here. But if there are no blocks on the side, the boxes will end up on the side. As you can see, the box ended up right there. All of these schematics will be in the description. Let me know with a comment if you think I should make any changes, or if you have a great idea. Subscribe.